All right, today's art project, you need to make this recipe for sand dough recipe. I have made a video for it. Um, it's really easy. You just need um, two cups of sand, one half cup of plain flour, one cup of warm water, and one and one fourth cup of salt mix. Now when I made this, I added all the water at once, and I actually needed some more f um, flour. I actually added uh, almost a whole half a cup more, so it actually was two cups of flour. So you might want to add the water in slowly and mix it and mix and mix it. Um, the sand really got wet when I needed it, and so I didn't need as much water as I thought. Um, but this was the first time I tried this project. And the good thing is with these dough recipes, you just need to add a little more flour if it's not the way you like. Um, so there's that. So um, I'm gonna put a little flour on my table so it doesn't stick. And some of this sand dough. Feels kind of like cookie batter to me. So, uh, as, uh, what is the, the texture you're going for? All right, so there's, I think that's enough. Oh, I forgot to bring my roller up, but we can just do it with our hands. At home, I would suggest to do a roller so you can get it nice and even. But I'm gonna just even that out a little bit more because I have a big hand. And I'm gonna flip it over. Oh, it's really falling apart when you flip it. So when you do this recipe, you're gonna want to do it on a plate so it can dry um, because you won't be able to move it. It falls apart too easily, um, which I did not realize. So I will just leave it here and then I will do the rest. So you can add a footprint or a handprint. I'm doing a handprint. You're gonna press down hard, make sure everything is in it. All right. And I got a little broke broke here, so I wanna um, fix that. I actually think before you do your handprint, you should probably rub some flour on your hand. Part of my hand's stuck. So and if I did it like that, there we go. See, now it looks better. Then your hand won't stick. See, now that looks good. All right, and then, throw some of that flour off. Then I'm gonna take my bag of shells and whatever pretty shell I like, I'm going to put it around. You could even be fancy if you have small shells um, and make little fingernails with your shell. Got another small one. There we go. Another small one. And that one's too small. There we go. And there's one. So I got one for each of my hands. Press down a little deeper for that. And you might want to make it a little bit more around so you have room to put shells. I didn't have as much room as I thought I might have. Um, then there's your, there's your shell design. Now, it they do say it takes a couple days to dry, um, unless you wanna do it um, in the oven and bake it at 200. Um, I, let it, I usually just let it air dry, it's the easiest way. Um, then you won't get any burnt look on your, on your Play-Doh or anything. Um, so I'm gonna take that one out. I like it around the handprint better. There we go. So, and then you just let it dry. Um, and of course you can play with this in your sensory table. 
to be great fun. Um, because it is like dough. You can um, make a sand snowman or a starfish or use your beach um, sandcastle molds to make stuff. But see, it's really, it really feels like cookie dough to me is the best explanation for it. But it does hold its shape. See, let's make a ball. There we go, see? Oh, it melts a little bit. Reminds me of the, the goop. Um, so this was really fun. I enjoyed making it. My daughter likes it too. Um, so um, I am gonna show later this week how to make kinetic sand that would um, not melt as much. Um, and you could make your um, um, molds, your beach toys in it better. Um, that's another recipe and we'll probably do that tom yeah, tomorrow, because tomorrow's Friday. The week is almost done. So I had a great time with you guys yesterday at the graduation and I missed you all so much. I'm so glad you guys came. And um, the, if you did not come to graduation, I only had three kids who couldn't make it. Um, you can just go to the office and your uh, book and your memory book, I put a picture every month in your kids' artwork every month. And um, we did a thumb drive slideshow for you. So if you couldn't make it, um, definitely go and pick up your books at, at, at the school. All right, see you next time.